going on, guys? You guys like this? I did the other video. Just look how weird this suit is. It looks small, but it's it's even down. Got my little flower, you know. But I actually want to make a video. It's kind of more of a rant or an explanation on something. It's not really finance related, but the thing I will relate it to, you know, here's the opening question. It's if you guys watched the Super Bowl this last year, even the year before that, as you, especially this year, you'll notice the commercials weren't um, as funny. They weren't that good. You guys remember the days where they would come out with Super Bowl commercials and they were hilarious. That was the funniest thing. And here's my question. Why? Why is it like that? Oh, I gotta change this. Um, you know, I'm saying, why was it like that? And it's to this topic, topic of people getting recreationally offended. Um, Jeff, one of the pledges, shout out, shout out Smogs, you know, he told me this concept of how he heard it. You know, we were talking about how people get offended very, very easily. You know, I see it on my videos a lot. I see it on YouTube a lot, but it explains why and mixed with like the power of social media. So I guess how I could relate this to a business sense is to understand things going on in business, but even then, so you guys even realize the power of social media. There's a lot of power behind it nowadays, even to the point where it influences a lot of brands and companies. Um, literally to the point where some don't even want to make commercials. And that's what it goes to the, the topic of recreationally offended. You know, that the internet, social media has gave a lot of people power, quote unquote, in a sense to speak their mind, speak their opinions. They can say whatever they want. They lash out, you know, a lot of people are scared to even say things online because of the backlash they'll get. Well, well people from their work, if they make anybody mad, man, there's people getting shot based on what they post on social media. I post stuff on social media and I've been threatened. <laughs> and it's this thing of people getting recreationally offended. You know, that's why these Super Bowl companies didn't post a lot of funny stuff because they're worried. You know, if they post something somewhat minorly offensive, something a little bit risque, you guys remember those old GoDaddy commercials, you don't see them anymore. You know, with the girl in the courtroom, you don't see anything remotely sexual, or making fun of anything. They gotta be careful of who, what kind of color person they put in there, everything. It's because if they do the, anything remotely wrong or something that could even be misinterpreted as offensive, you have all these people on social media hurting their brand, attacking them, saying all these things. And it's sad because it's kind of an impetus to, to stopping free speech because a lot of people are just scared to say stuff, even companies, because of the reaction they're expecting of that, that they could foresee. And you know, what recreationally offended, what is that, is that a bug? You know, the, the thing about it that makes it so funny is just why we call it recreationally getting offended. It's like doing drugs, recreational. It's like when instead of you take a Vicodin, you do it for prescription, you need it. And you know, sometimes you need to be offensive. Sometimes you need to get offended. You know, that's totally rational to get offended. But now some people are getting offended for pleasure, for fun, just because. And, and that's what you see, they're doing it where the whole concept is like, They'll see something and it makes them feel like a martyr defending of people that you don't even know if they wanted to be defended or not. Or you, you're saying, oh, I'm, you're going after black people when that person's white. You're going after Asian person, that people's white. You know, and, and yeah, it's good to stand up for people in that sense. But how do you know the full context? A lot of times people, you know, they're, they feel as if they're martyring for every single race out there and human race. It does make them feel powerful and it makes them feel like they have this little bug. Do they see it on the camera? That's just crazy. I don't even see it. Oh, I'm tripping then. Maybe he's just messing with me. But, uh, but ultimately, you know, it's, they're, they're getting offended and using it as a means to, whether it be pleasure, power, who knows, but it's this concept. So it's, it's good to understand. It relates to, you know, handling my critics video. So you guys can understand where, where, how some people come from. Cause sometimes it's just like kind of ridiculous, you know? Um, and just to know, you know, if you're a business owner, how that trend is going, you do have to adapt to it. But at the same time, you know, I prefer to stand against it. I'm not going to change 
my ways or change my freedom of speech because I think people are going to get mad on the internet. And does that mean I'm going to go and purposely piss people off and do stuff like that? No way. Am I going to be offensive and say, you know, no, it's not, it's not like that. You know, it's funny because I had somebody even tell me, oh, well, you said you like to fuck with people in your video and why you don't show your face. It's like you're misinterpreting. It's not saying I, I go out of my way to pleasurefully mess with people. Not at all. It's I'm saying I like to fuck with people who are only superficial and view and treat people differently based on their status and net worth. It's, you know, it, it, it's, it's all how you interpret it. Even then on another one of my videos, I had some guy, um, it's the why rich people don't help poor people. I had an image of an African-American child on there crying. And now it's funny because I have to even state that it's African-American. I don't see color. When I was looking at that picture, I'm not saying, oh, black, white, Mexican, Asian. No. It was literally exactly related to what I do. And guess what? It was the best quality fucking PNG image that I could get for my thumbnail. That's what I'm going to use. And even then, people are saying, oh, are you associating poor with blackness? It, that is a perfect example of recreationally offended. You know, uh, even that, that one video I posted, I had people saying, oh, is Islam, you're racist for referencing Islam with terrorism. It, Islam's not even a race, you know, and it, I'm not, all I'm saying is that you see people and they don't even, they're not even from those backgrounds. They're not even for it. And they're taking the littlest thing they can to get offended off of it. So, you know, I encourage you guys not to do that. You know, yeah, sure. You can have some fun. I'm not saying sure you have it. I can see how people have fun, you know, trolling on the internet, but there's a lot of people who do it seriously. And sometimes you could be fueling the flame and it's sad because at this pace, if it keeps on going, sadly, we're not going to be able to enjoy the same freedom of speech that we have. We're not going to be able to, you know, people and content creators are just going to be so hesitant to post stuff. You know, imagine that you could lose your business, you could lose customers, you could lose your social media followers based on doing something, you know, totally not in an offensive nature, this and that. But merely it could, if it could, has a slight chance to be misinterpreted, people aren't going to mess with it. They're going to say, no, 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 it's not worth that. And it, and it makes sense rationally why people do that. That's why hopefully, you know, what I'm saying is a pretty big claim that that, that will rob freedom of speech. But hopefully you can see where it's going to go because at the same time, I've seen how people react. You know, I, I tell people they can't even trade for a living. They get mad just trying to motivate them to get better prepared. It's like... That's gonna make me say, oh, well, maybe next time I make a video, I shouldn't put that in there. Maybe I should, you know, start cutting, cutting it how people are gonna perceive it and then find any single thing I could find to just make sure it cannot even be misinterpreted as offensive. That's gonna be a boring world, uh, honestly. It's kind of sad. So, and not even boring, and it, will it be non-offensive? Sure, but here's the paradox of it all. Even if you try not to be offensive, people will get recreationally offended. Then they'll find some way to get offended for it. And, you know, it's like, yeah, people are always going to get mad and people are not going to like what you're going to do. But, you know, I just encourage you, some of you guys to, to take a stand. You know, it's, sending, it's funny because I just said that example of how, you know, next time I go make a video. For me, I don't, I'm not going to be like that. You know, but if, pe if I do, you know, see stuff that I'm doing wrong or that I can do better... I'm, I, I'm gonna do better at it, you know? I'm not, I'm not here to say I know everything, I know it all, I'm gonna be stuck in my ways. No way, I'm, I'm totally open to, to changing it and as long as it can better myself, you know, especially if it betters myself. But it's just sad to see how society is kind of shifting towards that and, and again, the power of social media. So hopefully you guys can see it in that aspect of how social media has power, how you shouldn't get too too caught up with getting offended and if people get offended at you understand but also understand the implications of business because even if I'm telling you guys to take a stand if you're a business owner whatever it may be your reputation it sucks because as a somebody who's a mentor and should be guiding people I want to set a good example for people I don't want to tell you guys to take a stand because I know the implications if yeah you're not being offensive but it could remotely be interpreted, misinterpreted as offensive, 
you will suffer business consequences. So it's like, I wanna tell you, hey, in principle, you shouldn't do it, but it sucks because economically speaking, you will hurt your business if you try to make a stand, a call to action, anything like that. So it's a very big dilemma. That's a, it's cognitive dissonance. So what do you do? You know, do you as a business owner sacrifice your rights and beliefs? Or do you have to pretty much adopt a, a, a way that's not used or, you know, water down what you're doing so that people don't get mad? Because, and it's not because people are getting mad, it's just they're taking it upon themselves to get mad. They're taking it upon themselves to get offended. It's like, you know, again, that's not that's not any of our jobs. You know, if somebody's getting offended and this and that, should we stand up for what's right? Should we stand up for human rights? Of course. But it is not our job to go out of the way on stuff that you, you can see people's intentions, you know, straight up uh, at the end of the day. You know, you could tell if someone's being really offensive or not. You could tell if something's right or wrong. You know, right or wrong, it, you don't need to be a rocket scientist. You know, then when you start getting into more trickier subjects, sure. You know, then it starts getting a little tricky, but 90, 95% of stuff, you know, I'm just giving a random fucking number, uh, no factual basis, but it's 95% of the stuff that's right or wrong, you can clearly see it. You know, the gray areas are dangerous. Be careful of the gray areas, that's for anything. But hopefully that makes some sense. Uh, you know, I just like I said, it was kind of a rant. Hopefully you guys learned something from it. If not, just in, I think you could at least take away being able to understand and interpret other people better. But yeah, and stop getting offended over over nothing too, because at the same time, you know, you're putting yourself into a category of people, and those are people who are not going to want to work with you. You know, if I see somebody has a history of getting recreationally offended, you know, they're getting a fucking high or a boner off of being a martyr for people they don't know or they don't know the full situation off of 30 seconds they see, yeah, I'm not going to want to work with you. A lot of people won't. It's it's a risk in that sense. So, oh, is that your hand on the mic? No. Okay. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Love you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, 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 comment. You know, I don't care if you guys hit the like button. I just want you to comment. I want to talk to you guys. That's that's the main thing. So I'll leave you that. I'm not even, no hands, no, 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 no knee on the wheel. But all right. Love you all. Stay in school.